The day that we met! I'm Leaflet! <laughs> Hello, Leaflet! Hello, Henry! How are you today, Leaflet? I'm great, thanks, Henry. I just love working at the museum because we have so many interesting displays. We have a model blue whale, Hi. a statue of a Roman centurion, Hello. and an animatronic caveman scene. Hi -ya. Wow! It gets even better though, Henry. Today is the grand opening of our brand new exhibition, the Big Dino Bone Extravaganza! And what's this over here, Leaflet? That's our star attraction, Henry. A complete skeleton of the largest animal that ever walked the earth, Argentinosaurus. That looks amazing, Leaflet. It'd be my pleasure to take you on a tour, Henry, but we're still waiting for the museum curator to arrive so they can add the finishing touches to the exhibits. A museum curator? What's that? It's someone who looks after all the artifacts in the museum and decides where to put things on display. Ours should be here any moment now. Leaflet, I have some terrible news. The museum curator has accidentally locked themselves in a crate and gotten shipped to the dinosaur bone dig in Montana. Oh no, Henry! If we don't have all the displays ready, the exhibition will be ruined! And all these visitors will be disappointed! Oh. oh, if only there was another museum curator around to help! That gives me a great idea, Leaflet! I could become a museum curator and we can get all the exhibits ready in time for the big Dino Bone extravaganza together! That's a great idea, Henry! Okay, Leaflet, which crate should be open first? How about... This one. Hello, Henry. I'm a Utah raptor claw from a species of bird-like dinosaur that lived in the USA 126 million years ago. Okay, Henry, where should we display Utah raptor claw? I think we should put it with the rest of the skeleton over here. Good thinking, Henry. And now for a bit of lighting. Thanks, Henry. That's one dinosaur bone down, another 100 bazillion to go. There you go, Stegosaurus skeleton. Thanks, Henry. I used the plates on my back and spikes on my tail for protection. Swoosh! There you go, Quetzalcoatlus skeleton. Thanks, Henry. I'm a species of pterosaur and the largest known flying animal of all time. <coughs> there you go, T-Rex skeleton. Thanks, Henry. My jaws have the strongest bite of any animal that has ever lived. Roar! You're doing so well, Henry. As soon as you've finished assembling, the Argentinosaurus skeleton will be all set. No problem, Leaflet. I just need to attach the last bo... Uh-oh. The box is empty. What are we going to do, Henry? Our star exhibit can't go on a display with a missing bone. Don't worry, Leaflet. It must be around here somewhere. Hello, caveman. Have you seen an Argentinosaurus bone? We haven't, I'm afraid, Henry. We've been too busy discovering fire. Hello, Blue Whale. You haven't seen an Argentinosaurus bone anywhere, have you? Sorry, I haven't, Henry. I've been too busy practicing my whale song. Ooh. Hello, Roman Centurion. I don't suppose you've seen an Argentinosaurus bone, have you? I'm afraid not, Henry. I've been too busy standing guard. It's no use, Henry. We've looked high and low, and we still haven't found that missing bone. Wait a minute, Leaflet. Can you hear something? It's coming from inside here. Excuse me, sarcophagus. Would you mind opening up, please? Of course not, Henry. The, the missing, missing bone! bone! Phew! Thank you ever so much, Henry. I just wanted a closer look at this here sarcophagus and got trapped inside. That's okay, Dino Bone. Now, let's get you back to where you belong. You did it, Henry! Thanks, Henry! You're welcome. Now, who wants to see the big Dino Bone extravaganza? That's my mum calling me, Leaflet. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping me get all the exhibits ready in time for the Big Dino Bone Extravaganza! You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met... Ahoy!
Hi there, Henry. How are you today, Compass? I feel ship shape, Henry, me lad. There's nothing better than living here by the sea. Every day something weird and wonderful washes up on the beach and I put it on display here in me little seaside shack. Hello, Henry. Hello, everyone. Mm, Compass, what do you do exactly? Well, you see this needle here? It always points north, Henry. No matter where you are, you can always work out where you're going. So if you ever want to go on an adventure to discover a new and exciting land, I'm the one to help you find your way. That's so interesting, Compass. Have you ever discovered a new and exciting land before? I'm afraid I haven't, Henry. A long time ago, me and my explorer took to the seas on a voyage to find a long forgotten island, which is an ancient map to guide us. But our ship was swallowed whole by a giant scary whale. I was washed up on the Asir beach. I lost my map in a bottle and my ship was never seen again. Doop de doo, doop de doo. Map to a long forgotten island coming through. Look, Compass, is that your map in a bottle? It sure is, Henry. This means you can finish your voyage. Oh, I'd love to, Henry, but I can't go on a voyage to a long forgotten island without an explorer and a ship. If only there was one around. That gives me a great idea, Compass. I could become an explorer and we could go on a voyage to a long forgotten island together. That's a great idea, Henry lad. Okay, Compass. If we're going to find a long forgotten island, first we need to check the map. Well, as you can see, Captain Henry, we are here. We need to head east past the mermaid, around the walrus, between the turtles, and then onto the long forgotten island here. East? Which way is that, Compass? It's that way! Okay then, Compass, let's pull up the anchor and let out the sail. Long forgotten island, here we come! Hello, mermaid. Hello, Henry. Hello, walrus. Hello, Henry. Hello, turtles. Hello, Henry. Ahoy there, Captain Henry. We've seen a mermaid, a walrus, a family of turtles. The long forgotten island must be just up ahead. You're right, Compass. In fact, it's right here. Captain Henry, are you sure that's the long forgotten island? It looks a little soft and blubbery to me. But if it's not the long forgotten island, what could it be? Ah! Giant scary whale! Compass, are you okay? I'm fine, Henry, but I can't see a thing. Where are we? Oh no, Compass. We're trapped inside the whale's mouth. And it looks like we're not the only ones. Ship, it's you! Compass, I never thought I'd see you again. I've been trapped inside this well for so long, I'll be barnacles to turn to dust at that chew. That's it. We have to get the whale to sneeze us out. Ship, can I borrow some of that barnacle dust, please? Of course you can, Henry. Hold on, everyone. Uh, uh, shoo! Sure did, Compass. I now declare this the Henry and Friends Super Duper Amazing Island. Hooray! Arr! The day Henry met a compass. He laughed along with everyone. The day Henry met a compass. He made lots of friends and had so much fun. Henry! That's my mum calling me Compass. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. Pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping me find my ship on the long forgotten island. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye bye, Henry lad. Bye bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met. A football. Hello, football. Hello, Henry. How are you today, football? I feel fantastic, Henry. 
did you know? I love bouncing. In fact, I love bouncing so much I could bounce forever and ever and ever. <laughs> Woohoo! Um, football. <laughs> Well, look at this, Henry. A little wiggly worm wiggling around. Brilliant. <sighs> look, it's a bird and it's flying. Cool. <laughs> Wait for me, football. Now there's no way you'd ever beat me because I'm the best. No, I'm the best. No, I'm the best. No, I'm the best. Wow. Two football boots! Awesome! <sighs> Hi, everyone! What's up? We're having a football match, you see, and I'm going to beat him. That's what's up. Ha! Huh. How can you beat me when I'm going to beat you? Double ha! Huh? The Mighty Blues versus the Mighty Reds! Oh, it's going to be the greatest football match of all time! Mm, they both seem a little cross with each other. You're right, Henry! Oh, if only there was a referee around to make sure these two play fair. That gives me a great idea, football. I could become a referee and I could help referee the match. That's a great idea, Henry. Good luck, Henry. You'll need it. <laughs> OK, Boots. We're going to play this game in the spirit of fairness. So no whinging, no cheating and make sure you stick to the rules. Is tripping someone up considered cheating? Yes. What about tying your team's shoelaces together? Yes, of course it is. Oh, can we stop all this jibber-jabber and just start the match pretty, please? OK, football, but before we start, what's the most important thing when playing a sport? Winning! <laughs> no, it's taking part and having fun. Now, let's start this match. And we're off! <laughs> Red Boot has the ball. And out of nowhere comes Blue Boot, who's about to score. He kicks it. And it's surely a goal. Oh, but Red stops it. What a save! Phew. Wait for me, please. And we're back. And Red is about to score. It must be! It just has to be! Oh, but out of nowhere, Blue saves it! This is a real end-to-end -end battle! Uh, it's a battle... end-to-end... Uh, -end. Uh, uh, guys... Uh, guys... Henry, I'm not sure that they can go on much longer. They both look very, very tired. <sighs> I know how they feel. <sighs> oh, I give up. Oh, you were right, Blue Boot. You are the best. Oh, nonsense, Red Boot. You're by far the best. <sighs> no, I insist. You're the best. Maybe we can all agree. It's a draw. A draw? That means you're both the best. We are. Woo! The day Henry met a football, he laughed along with everyone. The day Henry met a football, he made lots of friends and had so much fun. Henry! That's my mum calling me football. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine. And thanks for refereeing the match. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye bye, Henry. Bye bye, football. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met a parrot. <laughs> Hello, Parrot. Rag! Hello, Henry, my lad. How are you today, Parrot? I feel ship shape, Henry. I'm sat here in my perch, surrounded by all these paintings of the sea. Yarr! I've got the wind in me feathers. It's almost as good as being at sea on a pirate ship a hundred years ago. <laughs> Is it true pirates can live for more than a hundred years? Rag! 
It is Henry. In fact, today is my 101st birthday. Wow. Happy birthday, Parrot. You must have seen some amazing things in your life. I have, Henry. Follow me and I'll show you the most amazing thing of all. Yarr! My grandfather was a famous pirate's parrot, and he left me his most prized possession. Wow. What is it, Parrot? Is it a wooden leg? Is it a Jolly Roger flag? Is it his favourite eye patch? Better than all those, Henry. It's a treasure map. It could lead us straight to unknown riches that have been hidden for hundreds of years. What kind of unknown riches, Parrot? Um, I don't know. They're unknown. Maybe if we follow the treasure map, we can find out. Yarr! Well, you'd need a pirate ship to find buried treasure, and that's why I haven't gone in search of it before. That gives me a great idea, Parrot. I could become a pirate, and we could set sail on my ship and find the treasure together. Ah, that's a great idea, Henry. All right, you salty sea dogs. This is Captain Henry speaking. Cast off the main plank, mop all the decks, and ready the rudder. It's time to set sail. Hmm, yar? Yar! We should probably check the treasure map now we've set sail. We don't want to bump into any giant, scary sea monsters. Good thinking, Parrot. Right then, which way to find the treasure? Well, as you can see, Captain, we are here. And we need to make our way along here, past the um, giant, scary sea monster, and straight on to the desert island. What was that you said, treasure map? You mumbled something. It kind of sounded like giant scary sea monster straight ahead. <laughs> Abandon ship! Uh, please don't eat us, giant scary sea monster. Oh, shiver me timbers, Henry! This is the worst birthday ever. A birthday? Did you just say birthday? Yes. It's Parrot's birthday today. Happy birthday, Parrot! Oh, I love birthdays. Now I feel terrible for scaring you in your special day. Is there anything I can do to make it up to you? Well, there is one thing. We'd really love to get to that desert island down there. Any chance of a lift? I can do better than that. Hop on! Thanks, giant scary sea monster. Anything for the birthday, boy. Ah, we made it, Henry. We made it to Treasure Island. And it looks like this is the spot, Parrot. Yeah, Come on, Henry. Let's get digging. Ah, what is it, Henry? Is it gold? Is it diamonds? Better than those, Parrot. It's a... Surprise! It's all stuff for a party. Ah, my grandfather loved a good party. <laughs> Happy birthday, Parrot. This is the best birthday ever! The day Henry met a pirate, he laughed along with everyone. The day Henry met a pirate, he made lots of friends and had so much fun. Henry. That's my mom calling me, Parrot. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. Pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping me find my treasure. Yar! You're welcome, Parrot. Bye bye, Henry. <laughs> bye bye, Parrot. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met a microscope. <laughs> Hello, microscope. Ah, oh, hello, Henry. How are you today, Microscope? I feel spectacular, Henry. I've just made a breakthrough. I think I've found... What have you just found? Your socks? Your car keys? Your marbles? I think I've just found the cure for smelly burps. Wow! That means no more smelly burps. Can I take a look and see what it actually looks like? Of course you can, Henry. It would be my pleasure. Scientists use microscopes like me to see things that are really, really 
tiny. Like these molecules. Hello, Henry! Hello, molecules. <laughs> now, Henry, the contents of this Petri dish are very, very important. So, I'll just call my assistant to help us out. Oh, did someone say they needed help? Uh-oh. Skeleton, what have I told you about running in the lab? That was the only cure I had made up. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. Well, maybe you can just make up a new batch microscope. I would if I could, Henry, but I didn't make it on my own. I had a scientist helping me. Oh, if only there was someone here to help me again. That gives me a great idea, Microscope. I could become a scientist and I can help you recreate that cure. That's a great idea, Henry. Okay, the first rule of science is experiment, experiment, experiment. And if that doesn't work... Then you experiment some more. <laughs> okay, Microscope, now let's recreate that cure. Hello, blackboards. Hello, Henry. Hello, test tubes. Hello, Henry. Hello, flasks. Hello, Henry. I think this is it. I think we've done it. Well done, Henry. Henry. But how will we know if it works? Only one way to find out. <gasps> Stop, Henry. That's far too dangerous. You mustn't drink something if you don't know that it's safe. But if I don't do it, who will? What? Me? Really? Are you sure this is safe, Microscope? It's okay, Henry. He's made of plastic, aren't you, Skeleton? That's right. Don't worry about me, Henry, okay? Bottoms up. Is anything happening? I don't feel any different. Uh, <laughs> What? What is it? Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> it seems there are a few unexpected side effects to the new formula, Henry. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it's back to the drawing board. <laughs> tried everything, Microscope. I think we should take a break, Henry. Skeleton looks pretty shaken up. <laughs> shaken up? That's it, Microscope. <laughs> Try this, Skeleton. <laughs> wow, that smells... It smells great! I can smell roses and lavender. I can smell fresh cut grass on a sunny day. Well done, everyone. We did it. We found the cure for smelly burps. Burp. <laughs> <laughs> calling me microscope i best be off it was really nice meeting you the pleasure was all mine henry and thanks for helping me you're welcome microscope and have a nice day bye bye henry bye bye microscope i'm coming mom the day henry met a statue <laughs> Hello, Statue. Hello, Henry. How are you today, Statue? Well, considering I've been stuck in this pose for 4,000 years, I'm feeling pretty sprightly. Ooh, <laughs> ah, much better. Statue, why does everything in here look so old? <laughs> That's because everything in this museum is old, Henry. Come along, I'll show you. This ancient Viking helmet dates back over a thousand years. Hello, Henry. These dinosaur bones are over 65 million years old. Hello, Hello Henry. Henry. And how old is this rare ancient historical artifact? Is it 500 years old? Two million years old? 
Ten bazillion years old? Oh, <laughs> that's not part of the museum display, Henry. That's just my old cassette player. He plays 80s music. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. Sometimes, Henry, archaeologists spend years looking for treasure. And once in a lifetime, they find something that's as beautiful as it is old. Behold, the ancient blue diamond. Mm, statue, there's nothing there. What? There's nothing here? Oh, no. The ancient blue diamond. Where's it gone? This is a catastrophe, Henry. Oh, wait! <laughs> My mistake! It says here it actually hasn't been found yet! <laughs> Silly me! If only there was an archaeologist around to help find it and we could gaze upon its elegant beauty! That gives me a great idea, statue! I could become an archaeologist and I could help find the ancient blue diamond! That's a great idea, Henry! Now, which way should we go? Hmm, one way will probably lead us to certain doom. And the other way will hopefully lead straight to the ancient blue diamond. This way or that way? Which will it be? I really think we should go this way. Why is that, statue? Because over that way, there is a great big boulder. And it's heading straight for us. Yikes! Run away! Hello, Sphinx. Hello, Henry. I'm very dizzy. Hello, Pyramids. Hello, Henry. Really starting to get dizzy now. Hello, Hieroglyphics. Hello, Henry. We have to hurry, Henry. The boulder is right behind us. I think I'm going to be sick. Oh, no. It's a dead end. Oh. Ah! Whoa. Just got to catch my breath. You two are fast. Sorry if I scourge you. I was coming to say hi, but you ran away and dropped your hat. Oh, you were just giving me my hat back. How nice. Thanks, Boulder. All that exercise did us good anyway. Boulder, do you know where the ancient blue diamond is? Oh, of course I do, Henry. It's right under your feet. Oh, hmm. <laughs> Thanks, Boulder. Whoa! You're welcome. Whoa! Finally, Henry, behold the ancient blue diamond. Wow, statue! You were right! It truly is beautiful. Oh, I bet you say that to all the ancient blue diamonds. <laughs> well, now that we've found you, would you like to come back to the museum and meet some of my new friends? Oh, I'd love to, Henry. Yay! my mum calling me statue. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. Thanks for finding me, Henry. You're welcome. Have a nice day, everyone. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day Boat. Hello, Henry, my lovely. How are you today, lifeboat? Can't complain, Henry. The lovely warm sand beneath me and a beautiful blue ocean stretching out as far as the eye can see, drawing me in with her dulcet, watery tones. Lifeboat. Her waves gently lapping at the shore, beckoning me back into her salty embrace. <laughs> lifeboat. I can hear her soft voice dancing on the sea breeze, whispering in my ear. Lifeboat, snap out of it! Henry wants to ask you a question. Oh, um, sorry. I was away with the mermaids there. <laughs> That's okay, lifeboat. I was just wondering, what makes you different from all the other boats? I rescue people who are lost at sea, Henry. So if someone gets into trouble, 
The lifeguard and I race out and bring them back to shore, safe and sound. Wow, that is so exciting, lifeboat. <laughs> Oi, I'm back here with my shell. <laughs> well, lifeboat, it looks like everyone is safe and sound. Help! Help! I think you spoke too soon, Henry. Is everything okay, Dolphin? The tide is coming in and there's a donkey stranded out at sea, Henry. Here. Uh, we need a lifeguard, quickly! Thunder and walruses, Henry. Dolphin's right. We need a lifeguard. If only there was one around. That gives me a great idea, lifeboat. I could become a lifeguard and I can help rescue Donkey. That's a great idea, Henry. Follow me. You'll be there in no time. Thanks, Dolphin. Hello, boy. Hello, Henry! Hello, Seagull. Hello, Henry! Ah! Hello, giant container ship. Oh, oh, hello, Henry! Donkey is just up ahead, Henry. Good luck. Thanks, Dolphin. Come on, lifeboat. Let's go! Uh. Ah. What was I thinking? Let's go sunbathing, I said. This will be the perfect spot, I said. Oh, I hope someone comes and rescues me. Hello, Donkey. We're here to rescue you. Oh, that's excellent news. Why have we stopped, Lifeboat? Sorry, Henry, but this is as close as a big salty sea dog like myself can go. We wouldn't want to run aground now, would we? I guess it's up to me now. But, hmm... How will I reach Donkey from here? Well, they don't call me a lifesaver for nothing, you know. OK, don't worry, Donkey. We'll have you safe and sound in no time. Uh, thanks, Henry. I was afraid no one would come to rescue me. But now you're here and everything's going to be just fine. Uh, help! Hurry! Quick, Henry. OK, here goes, everyone. Wish me luck. Good luck, Henry! Hee -haw. Hooray! Hee -haw. <laughs> now, Henry, all you need to do is pull Donkey in. I think I might have a better idea, Lifeboat. You are right back there, Donkey. Couldn't be happier, Henry. Cheers! <laughs> <laughs> Right, lifeboat. Back to dry land, please. Aye, aye, skipper. Day and we met a lifeboat. She laughed along with everyone. Day and we met a lifeboat. He made lots of friends and had so much fun. Henry! That's my mum calling me lifeboat. I'd best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry, and thanks for saving the day. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met... A panda. Hello, panda. Oh, um, hello, Henry. Is everything all right, panda? Oh, I'm sorry, Henry. How rude of me. Everything's fine. In fact, everything is better than fine. Why is that, Panda? Did you finish your painting? Are you going snorkelling? Did you buy new roller skates? Better than all of those, Henry. My cousin from China is coming over for a visit. Oh, I can't wait to give her a big hug when she gets here. Wow, that's great news, Panda. I love it when my cousins come to visit. Delivery for a Miss Panda. Oh, that's me. How exciting. Do I look OK, Henry? You look lovely, Panda. I'll just pop it here, shall I? <laughs> oh, um, Chinese pandas are a lot browner, hairier and altogether sleepier than I expected. I'm not a panda. I'm a sleuth. Well, of course you are, but if you're here, then where's my cousin? 
I hope she's not lost somewhere in the zoo, Panda. Oh, if only there was a zookeeper around that could help us look for my cousin. That gives me a great idea, Panda. I could become a zookeeper and I could help find your cousin. That's a great idea, Henry. Come on, everyone. Let's go. I'm right behind you. Looks like Sloat has fallen asleep hanging upside down. Sloat's had a long trip, Panda. I'm sure he'll catch up with us later. Hello, Lime. Shh, Henry. I got my eyes on that lovely gazelle over there. You're it. Oh, Lion. You get me every time. Come back here, you. Um, Lion, gazelle. Have either of you seen another panda like me around? <laughs> Sorry, Panda. I haven't, I'm afraid. We've been too busy playing tag to notice anything. Oh, actually, that reminds me. Lion? Yes? You're it. <laughs> Come back here, you. Looks like this could be a long day, Panda. Zebra, have you seen any pandas today? Afraid not, Henry. I've been too busy finishing my painting. Hippo! Any chance have you seen another panda like me around today? Sorry, panda. I've been too busy snorkeling today. Hello, elephant. Have you seen any pandas like this one around today? No, sorry, Henry. I've been too busy on my roller skates. <laughs> what are we going to do, Henry? We've searched everywhere and there's still no sign of my cousin. Not quite everywhere, panda. Excuse me, signpost. Do you know the way to the sloth enclosure? Well, I most certainly do, Henry. It's that way. Thanks, signpost. Hello, Mummy Sloth. Have you seen any other pandas around here today? Pandas? Here? Today? I haven't, I'm afraid. Whoa. Are you okay, Cousin Sloth? Sorry about this, but my cousin arrived yesterday from South America. And he hasn't really got the hang of the whole sleeping whilst hanging upside down thing yet. Have you, Cousin Sloth? How many times do I have to tell you I'm not a sloth? I'm a... Panda, it's you. You've been here all along. The deliveries must have gotten mixed up. But if you're not a sloth, then where's my cousin? Here I am. <laughs> I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping me find my cousin. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met. A train. <laughs> Hello, Train. How's it going, Henry? How are you today, Train? I'm wonderful, Henry. It's a beautiful sunny day, the birds are singing, and I feel toot-tastic. Toot toot! <laughs> train, why do you have a chimney up there on your head? That's because I'm a steam engine, Henry. What's a steam engine? Well, you see, Henry, my engines burn lots of coal. The hot coal turns water into steam, and the steam turns my wheels. Then I get to blow any extra steam out my chimney. Toot toot! <laughs> toot toot! I wish I could go on a train ride one day. Oh, that reminds me, Henry. I have to go on a trip to the ranch today to drop off all these animals. Hello, Henry! Hello, everyone. That's a lot of different animals, Train. Maybe we should make sure you're not forgetting anyone. That's a great idea, Henry. Let's do a roll call. Horse? <laughs> Pigs? <laughs> Cow? <laughs> train driver? Um, train driver? Where is he, Train? He must have gotten off at the wrong stop. What shall we do now? If only there was another train driver around to help. That gives me a great idea, Train. 
I could become a train driver, and I could help you take all the animals back to the ranch. That's a great idea, Henry. Radio train, let's get going. Oh, why aren't we moving, train? We won't get very far without any fuel. Try a lump of coal or two, Henry. Hello, Henry. Hello, Henry. Hello, Coles. Stand back, Henry. These little fellas are going to get hot, hot, hot. Then you don't want to get burnt. <laughs> that should do it, Henry. Now hold on tight, and I'll take it from here. Let's go. Hello, Cactus. Howdy, Henry. Hello, Windmill. Hello, Water Tower. Hello, Henry. Hello, Canyon. Hello, Henry. You're doing a wonderful job, Henry. You're a natural. We're nearly at the ranch already. That's great news, Train. Now, as long as the old bridge up ahead hasn't collapsed again, we should be there in no time. Oh, no. Train, look. Oh, the old bridge, it has collapsed again. Quick, Henry, pull the brakes. Henry, I said it's time to pull the brakes. Quick, Henry! But I am pulling the brake, Train. Oh, no. We're going to crash. Don't give up just yet, Train. There must be something we can do. Well, what do you expect me to do? Jump over the canyon? That's it, Train. We can jump the canyon. Oh, but Henry, we'd have to be going really, really fast to do that. Don't worry, Train. I've got an idea. OK. Ready, everyone? Ready, Henry! And let's go! You're doing great, Henry! Thanks, Train. Just one more piece of coal, and that should do it. Henry, here comes the canyon! Hold on tight, everyone! Train. Although, I did have a little help from some new friends. Now, who wants to go to the ranch? Hooray! The day Henry met a train, he laughed along with everyone. The day Henry met a train, he made lots of friends and had so much fun. Henry! That's my mom calling me, Train. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. Thanks for helping me get the animals to the ranch. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mom. The day Henry met... A lighthouse. <laughs> Hello, Lighthouse. Hello there, Henry. How are you tonight, Lighthouse? I'm doing great, Henry. There's nothing better than breathing in the fresh sea air and feeling the waves lapping against the rocks. Lighthouse? Yes, Henry? Why do you stand out here looking at the sea all day and all night? I'm just doing my job, Henry. See all those jagged-looking rocks out there? Hello, Henry. Well, when it's very, very dark, or very, very foggy. I help boats find their way past them safely. But how do you do that, Lighthouse? Do you call them on the phone? Do you shout really loudly? Do you blow on a giant trumpet? Even better than all that, Henry. I use this super powerful light on my head. Wow, that's amazing. I guess that's why you're called a Lighthouse. <laughs> Precisely, Henry. Oh, look, Henry. Here's a boat now. I'll light his way so he doesn't get into any trouble. Huh? I know my lamp. The bulb blew out. This is a disaster. What shall we do now? 
I could ask my mum to find a light bulb. She always changes the light bulbs at home. Oh, I wish it was that simple, Henry. But only a lighthouse keeper knows how to fix my lamp. That gives me a great idea, Lighthouse. I can become a lighthouse keeper and I could change your bowl and fix your lamp. That's a great idea, Henry. OK, first things first, Lighthouse. Where do you keep your spare bulbs? I keep them in a little shed behind you, Henry. OK, Lighthouse. I'll be back in no time. Hello, Henry! Oh, I didn't realise there was a bazillion boxes in here. I suppose I'll just have to keep opening them until I find a bulb. Hello, rubber ball. Hello, Henry. Hello, trumpet. Hello, Henry. Hello, foam finger. Hello, Henry. How hard can it be to find a giant light bulb? What, like the one over there? Hello, Henry. I did it, Lighthouse. I found the spare bulb. Well done, Henry. But you need to hurry. We don't have much time. That little boat has no idea he's sailing straight into jagged rocks. Oh, it's awfully dark tonight. Oh, I hope I'm not sailing straight into any jagged rocks. The lamp is just up these stairs, Henry. But before we go, we need to turn the power off. Will do, Lightbulb. Will do. Here we come, Lighthouse. We're on our way. Uh, 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 are we nearly there yet, Lighthouse? Just a few more flights, Henry. You'll be up here in no time. Uh, OK, Lighthouse. That's the spirit, Henry. Uh, we made it, Lighthouse. Now, where do I put this bulb? Over here, Henry. OK, Lighthouse. <coughs> Nothing happened, Lighthouse. Oh, Henry, the power needs to be turned back on. The little boat is sure to hit the rocks now. Leave it to me, Lighthouse. Ready, Rubber Ball? Ready, Henry. Uh, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Ow. Ooh. Boing. 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 Yeah. Whoa! That was close. You did it, Henry. You replaced the bulb and saved the day. All in a day's work for a lighthouse keeper. Toot toot! <laughs> <laughs> calling me Lighthouse. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. Thanks for changing my bulb and helping me save the boat from those rocks. You're welcome. Have a nice evening. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met... A car! Hello, Car. Hello, Henry, my boy. How are you today, Car? I feel fantastic, Henry. Never better. I'm raring to go. <laughs> um, are you meant to sound like that, Car? <coughs> Not exactly, Henry. Sounds like my engine could do with a drop of oil. Did I hear one of you boys say a drop of oil? You most certainly did. But, um, what is it you do exactly? Well, Henry, oil helps the engine run nice and smoothly. It stops all the different engine parts from rubbing together and wearing out. So the gears can move and the pistons can pump. And then the wheels can turn and the car can go. Exactly, Henry. Oh, I feel so much better now. If only there was a big race happening today down at the racetrack. Extra, extra, calling all cars. Big race happening today down at the racetrack. Did you hear that, Car? This is your chance. You could enter the big race. Well, that would be wonderful, Henry, but, well, you see, I've never actually finished a race before. I always break down just before the finish line. Oh, but, Car, it's not all about winning, and it's never too late to give it another shot. 
You're absolutely right, Henry. I should enter. <sighs> but I can't enter without a driver. That gives me a great idea, Car. I could become a race car driver and we can enter the big race together. Well, bless my bumpers. That's a great idea, Henry. Look, the lights are about to change. It's almost time to race. Drivers, start your engines. Ready, steady, go, go, go! Uh, what's the matter, Car? Aren't you forgetting something, Henry? Oh, my seatbelt, of course. Whee! Oh. Sorry, Car. Now grab hold of the steering wheel and I'll take it from here. Hold on tight, Henry! Hello, blue car. Hello, green car. Hello, Henry! Hello, tow truck. Hello, Henry! Hello, pit stop. Time for a new set of wheels. And a quick fuel top up. Go, go, go! We've made it, Henry. We're in first place. And look, the finish line is just ahead. Just hold it steady, Car. We're almost there. We're going to win the race. Absolutely nothing can stop us now. Uh-oh. Oh, pickle my pistons. I'm so sorry, Henry. I've broken down again. Don't worry, Car. We didn't win, but we had lots of fun. I know, Henry, but I've still never finished a race. I guess I'm just not cut out for the racing life. Hold on, Car. I have an idea. Huh? What? What's happening? You're finishing the race. That's what's happening. Come on, tow truck. Let's go. <laughs> you did it, Car. You finished the race. Oh, Thank you, Tow Truck, and thank you, Henry. I can't believe it. You've made an old car very, very happy. My pleasure, Car. But always remember, it's not about winning. It's about... Taking, taking part! <laughs> the day Henry met a car, he laughed along with everyone. The day Henry met a car, he made lots of friends. That's my mum calling me, Car. I'd best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping me finish your race at last. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mum. <laughs> <laughs>